All right, good morning, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to Compute Fest 2019, our annual gathering. Uh, the topic uh, this year, as you see on the slide here, is data science at the frontier of discovery, machine learning in the physical world. My name is Frank Doyle. I'm the dean of the engineering school here at Harvard, uh, also a bioengineer who does research uh, in the data science field applied to diabetes, so I'm particularly excited about the uh, session today. For our guests who are joining us from out of town, um, apologies and welcome to winter in New England. Um, this is something, uh, I moved here from Santa Barbara three years ago for the weather, <laughs> rethinking that decision. Um, all right, so this is a really exciting topic that in particular here at Harvard, I think, pulls together a number of really exciting disciplines, computer science, applied mathematics, um, the physical sciences, all of which are on the rise here at Harvard. Student interest continues to climb year over year. We've gotten to the point now where computer science at Harvard is the number two concentration. Applied mathematics is the number four concentration. Together, applied math and computer science comprise 70% of the students in C's. So it's really the, the dominant force within C's. And this confluence of the fields and the excitement that's been happening led us to launch a new degree in data science, which just began this fall. It's come out of the IACS. That's the, the institute that um, has ownership for this degree. And it builds on the very firm foundation that we had in our masters in computational science and engineering. Uh, last year, when we went through the uh, admissions process for the first time for this new degree, we realized we were onto something. We had tremendous interest from the outside. The number of applicants and the relatively small number of seats we had in the program led this to become the most competitive admissions pool that we had across any of our Harvard degrees last year. So very competitive bunch. If any of our students are in the audience, congratulations. You made it through a very, very competitive uh, pool last year. So I just want to open with these couple of brief remarks. Welcome you to the session. Uh, thank you all who persevered the weather and the logistics this morning to uh, make it here. Um, I'm sure we'll be filling this room over time as everyone else um, comes in from the uh, delayed traffic. Uh, I wish you a very productive exchange of your scientific ideas over the course of the day. And I'm looking forward to joining you. I'll be popping in and out and certainly uh, joining uh, at lunch today to continue the conversations. So now at this point, it's my great pleasure to introduce Professor Tim Kaxiris, who's the director of the IACS and also the area co-chair for Applied Mathematics and Cs. Tim. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Frank. I uh, uh, appreciate the opening remarks. By the way, uh, I was in Santa Barbara last week, and it was rainy and cold and miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I had been in Santa Barbara a few years back. It was the same weather. I think it's a myth. I think someone is. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, we have a beautiful sunny day. I'm mean, a little cold, but <laughs> bright and beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, so sorry about all the uh, small uh, changes due to the weather. And uh, as uh, uh, Frank was saying, uh, uh, we are uh, very uh, happy and proud about uh, the program we have in. Uh, 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 data science, uh, the new degree we are offering, but also in uh, computational science and engineering. Uh, so we've been offering uh, uh, this degree for a few years now, about five or six years, and uh, it's been a very successful program, and we're very excited and happy about it. I'm not sure which slide we are. And of course, it's all uh, part of the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, the John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, uh, and uh, the uh, 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 institute is uh, really the home to graduate students in computational science and now data science and serves as the nexus within Harvard University for faculty and students applying computational methods to major challenges in, in science and societal issues. And uh, here are some of our uh, uh, recent graduates who are extremely uh, uh, happy and, and proud of them. Uh, so, in fact, uh, uh, one of them was uh, my student, uh, uh, Amanda Peters. She is now a, a faculty member at uh, Duke University. Uh, and uh, all the others are also doing uh, uh, extremely well. Uh, so this is uh, uh, Omar Abdud uh, and, and uh, uh, Mehul uh, Smriti Raje, uh, Google Scholar now, and uh, uh, Cole Diamond and, uh, uh, in uh, Millennium Management in one of Forbes. 30 under 30. So the program has been uh, very exciting and very successful. 
Uh, one of the activities that uh, we are uh, trying to do is uh, beyond uh, uh, the classroom to enrich the program with uh, many other uh, uh, types of uh, events and activities. So this, uh, what you are uh, participating in today, the symposium, is one of these activities, uh, uh, one of these events. It started out uh, uh, several years ago, and these are the posters uh, going back all the way to 2013. I was co-organizer of that one also, computing at the exascale and then uh, more diverse uh, subjects all the way to today's uh, uh, subject about uh, data science and uh, uh, the physical world. Uh, and uh, there's uh, uh, many other uh, interesting workshops and activities during this week. Uh, on Wednesday, we have uh, a workshop uh, uh, led by NVIDIA on computer vision. On Thursday, one led by Google and IBM uh, uh, research on uh, interpretability and fairness. And on Friday, another one led by Microsoft on natural language processing. So you're welcome to attend any of those. They're uh, uh, open and uh, welcoming to the uh, community. Uh, and without uh, further ado, I'll uh, I want to start uh, today's uh, symposium program. There's been a lot of changes in the order of the program because uh, two of the speakers weren't able to make it. Uh, their flights were uh, canceled and uh, uh, we had to uh, change the order to accommodate for this. And also we found two other speakers who volunteered uh, at the very last minute, literally this morning, to fill some of the empty slots. Uh, so those are uh, surprises. Uh, we don't even know the order they will be presenting in the afternoon because it depends on uh, how some of the other speakers, when they will arrive. Uh, so all of the afternoon program is more or less a surprise. Uh, but this morning's uh, program contains four of the speakers who were uh, uh, among the uh, original list of speakers. Uh, the order is a little different. Uh, first will be Michael Brenner, then uh, Yuna Kim, uh, then Korat Vorkin, and last, uh, uh, Sela Nevo. So I'll uh, call on uh, Michael to start the program. 